Zdravstvot, dear Tovarishi, and welcome back to another episode of our glorious Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Let's Play. The nation continues to grow and prosper and push out into new fields, both literally and metaphorically speaking, and today I hope to continue on that trajectory and push out into yet another new field. One that we've discussed previously, but still needs a lot of work to be done in it. Folks, not going to bore you with a long introduction, just want to mention as always, if you're enjoying this series, you'd like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. Y'all know the drill by now, it makes a huge difference with regards to what content I do on the channel, how often I do it, and what I do when I do it. Uh, leave those comments, of course, to let me know what you're interested in seeing, if you have any stories, thoughts, ideas, anecdotes, whatever it might be. Y'all know what to do. I feel like uh, with 130 episodes behind us, it's become a familiar story, I suppose. 130 episodes, folks. Kind of wild for a miniseries, isn't it? Now, the first order of business as we get the party started today is to actually head all the way back down to Vera which is the last time I shall be calling it by its old name, because I did in fact receive a name suggestion for this a while ago, and it slipped my mind back then, I apologize for that, but I will put it in today because I did get a reminder, so thank you very much for that. So Vira shall henceforth... That was scary. <laughs> I was like, what happened there? Vira shall henceforth... This UI is just... There we go shall henceforth be known as Moria. Not a reference or anything, just, you know, just a nice sounding name. Just a, just a nice sounding name. Anyway, the mines of Moria here have been powering part of our nation for quite a while. Um, and uh, to, to segue from one topic from the comments to another, uh, which was actually a comment that was further extended upon in the Discord, so I should maybe mention, if you're not already in our Discord, check out the link in the description down below, join up, huge community, lots of fantastic people talking about all sorts of stuff, including all the games you see on this channel. It's about 3,000 or so people right now, and uh, yeah, it's it's always fun to, to talk to people in more of a, you know, chat kind of a, a way, I find. But anyway, sorry, I digress. Link in the description. I digress. It was pointed out to me in a comment, which led me to the Discord, where it was written out in full detail, that oof, we should technically not be able to power everything in our nation with just two power plants. And I'm not sure what's going on because I think the math that was mentioned makes sense with regards to our output out of a power plant and the fact that we are sustaining, with two power plants, we are sustaining two steel mills, two chemical plants and, and the oil fields down over here, like it, it does seem sort of imbalanced. Now what I need to do is I actually need to sit down and figure out if it is a problem, or if the game is, you know, bugging out somewhere or somehow, I mean, it's saying it's without power over here right now, but that's that's only, I think, because we're paused. We're going to take a look at that really briefly today, and then and then tackle some other things as well, uh, but that's something I feel like I have to look at deeply in between sessions, and then spend a session, or spend part of a session, uh, repairing, if need be, because, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure how... We haven't seen more issues. We see the occasional brownout and stuff, but that's that's not what that's not what I'm talking about. I don't think that's what the comment was talking about either. And correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, we should be having far more significant issues. Though I think during the day power consumption is low, but in at night we should really be seeing some issues. Anyway, maybe maybe I've misunderstood things. Maybe things are actually fine. Maybe they're horribly wrong, and I just haven't noticed. For now, let's take a look at the other aspects, and we'll we'll investigate all this stuff in due time. Uh, money's looking all right, 9.9 .9 million. We're a little short of what we were last session, but that's okay. Population continues to grow, 37.4. Feeling pretty good about that. Loyalty is on the way up as well. We are coming very close to that 30% loyalty, so that shouldn't be a problem anymore. And if we take a look at this year's um, immigration situation, only 1,300 people have left so far, and it's already May. Okay, so let's go ahead and double that as a, as a rough estimate. 2600 let's round it up to say 3k last year we were at 3400 this year we might end up at 3k so it's it's trending in the right direction that feels good and it really feels fantastic to have the food and meat situation largely taken care of um, we will be expanding by the way just for those of you that are asking because quite a few folks are asking and wondering we will be expanding further south i believe in fact if we take a look at the mini map which is something that has been requested of me as well um there and do that. For those of you that are wondering how much space we've taken versus how much is left to take, uh, there 
are more sources of iron down over here in this mountain chain. So when the time comes to produce even more steel and mechanical components and whatnot, there is... Whoa. What's that? Awkward rotation there. Not sure what uh, what happened there. All right, um, there is a lot more to be had down over here by this lake where there's also a ton of oil. Uh, so there is there is a lot to be had still as we expand further down south. Uranium. Now, uranium is kind of... Un it's unfortunate because uranium got added after we were already developing Oksalinski. But there's a fair bit to be had right over here next to this residential area, which we probably won't tap into. Um, but there is also a lot to be had right over here, which is probably where we're going to develop our third major city and also uh, tap into nuclear power. Um, so so that's what I think about. But uh, my, my point being, I guess my bigger point being that uh, I do intend to uh, develop another city soon. It'll either be, sorry, it'll either be down over here. Hmm. You know what? This will probably actually all be industrial. This entire section might actually be industrial. And then we might have our third city be up over here in this kind of an area near where the uranium mining and stuff is happening. There's also oil to be had up over here. I don't know if there's iron to be had over here. No, no iron to be had over here. All the way over there, but it looks like it's a pretty flimsy uh, source of it. Um, but that's 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 not as big a deal, I suppose. Uh, so yeah, I think our next city is going to happen over here. Expand the fields a little bit up over here as well. Man, those clouds, they really kind of get in the way, don't they? Uh, expand the fields up over here, hopefully able to feed people in a city that's maybe around this lake. I don't know if we'll tap it for oil. We might have to, but we might build a city up over here, nestled between these mountains. That might work. Uh, but I will also probably look to build a city down over here on the other side of this lake, like in, in, in this area, perhaps. I can't wait until airplanes are supposed to be coming to the game. Uh, we're supposed to get helicopters and airplanes. Uh, and once we do that, we can, you know, we can experiment with longer distance travel without needing to be directly connected to anything else, I suppose. Um, but yeah, there, there are plans, point being, there are plans for more cities. And of course, let's not forget, uh, Uprising Grad still has a lot of room to expand as well. We want to put, put down some more city, uh, more buildings over here. And we're going to expand to the other side of these power lines as well and expand the city all the way out this way too. Lots of workers, lots of resources. It's all happening over here, folks, on Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Uh, the economy is looking pretty good. Fantastic. I think we're good to hit play at the very least and let... Time start to move. Yeah, let's do it. Because there are lots of things I need to look at and, and solve today. Lots of things to look at and solve. So let's go ahead and hit play. Now, one of the things I need to look at is this distribution over here. Uh, I, I knew I'd over... Um, I, I knew I was pushing too much in the wrong direction to begin with, but I guess I didn't realize just how much I was doing so. Uh, like 30% of a load of 500 people going to a place that only needs 105 workers unnecessary. Let's go ahead and drop this down significantly. Let's go ahead and drop uh, the mechanical components factory down as well, significantly. The main split needs to be at the steel mill and at the bus stop. Without the bus stop, we're not getting... Um, without people coming to the bus stop, we're not getting people going to the mines. Without people going to the mines, we're not getting iron ore. Without iron ore, we're not producing any iron, not producing any steel, not producing any tracks. Everything comes to a grinding halt. So let's go ahead and make sure that we do not find ourselves in that position. Let's go ahead and make sure that more workers are actually coming through over here and going to the right places. That's thing number one. Uh, thing number two I want to quickly address is the uh, requirement of a bridge over here. Uh, I didn't mean to just set it aside forever uh, last session. We might still look into it. I just feel like it's not as urgent as uh, some of the other things that need doing. Uh, definitely still something that is on my mind, building a bridge over here. But as you can see, traffic flows pretty smoothly despite uh, the current circumstances. So it's not really a, a top-level pressure point for me just quite yet, as, uh, as things seem to be working pretty well over here. Pretty well over here. I hope. 45, 134 workers. These buses can only carry, what, like 65 or something? So we're going to have a bus 45. This bus is headed to Iron Mine 3. This bus is headed to Iron Mine number 1. Okay, good stuff. Again, it's I'm trying to get that spread going, right? 
no trucks over here picking up iron ore just quite yet. That's the other thing is we have all these trucks now coming to pick up iron ore down over here except, uh, you know, it's uh, <laughs> not as much of a backlog as it once was. Just gotta just gotta rework these these numbers over here. The uh, the spread of workers. Are you empty? You know you're not empty. Good. But you are just about to arrive here. You're gonna leave empty, aren't you? Because this train is taking a little too long to arrive. You're gonna leave empty. Wonder if the split should be even more in favor of the bus stop. Twenty nine percent. Yeah, we don't need that many workers elsewhere. We don't need that many workers elsewhere. Like, this bus is going to be empty as well. I need this bus stop to be fuller for longer. Is the thing. See how that works out. These guys are out of steel as well. Like, that's just, that's just it, right? We need... So much stuff. Like, we need steel for so much stuff, rather, is what I mean. See 117 workers over here. That train is right there, so hopefully it'll arrive in time. I wish these trains moved faster. All right, well, no use just kind of staring at those trains doing their work. Now let's see. We're putting out eight point, let's say eight megawatts, right? That's how that works. This is output, right? Goes up over here. A little bit gets used up by the uh, the cables and stuff, if I'm not mistaken, right? Like you get because of um, oh, what's it called? There's a word for it. It's just the, it's the loss of energy. Anyway, so we have 5.7. Let's say five. Yeah, let's say 5.7 arriving over here. From here, we split off into multiple directions. Now we're only carrying so much on these medium. Uh... Yeah, this is so weird. What are you connected to? Why are these guys not drawing more power? Like everything seems to be working perfectly fine. Maybe, maybe, maybe I've misunderstood something. Well, I'll have to look into this more. Come down over here. So hold on, down over here. Got these big wires pushing through 0.28. Yeah, I need to I need to sit down and look at this because it hasn't caused us any issues, which is why I've always been kind of like, oh yeah, it's working fine. But if I have to investigate it, then I should. We'll 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 do that between sessions, or or I'll do that between sessions just to make sure I am. I I never like asking a thousand questions in the middle of a of a session. You know, three or four is one thing, but a thousand questions and just constant confusion, I imagine, isn't uh, super fun to <laughs> experience. Uh, so I'll, I'll do my investigating between sessions. I don't know between this and next one if that'll be enough time for me to figure it out. Or, you know, between the next couple of sessions, I'll try and figure out what's going on. And uh, I will address it in uh, a following video so we all know, you know, what we've uncovered. And if you have any insights as well as always, feel free to drop it in the comments down below. Helps we get there faster, right? The pumping harbor over here is seeing a good bit of work done. Missing steel, though. Do we not have any steel down over here? We have a little bit, but it's being used everywhere right this thing is still loading up on stuff waiting on literally anything else before it goes out all right let's uh let's let's not load up to 100 percent. let's be realistic maybe let's load up to 69 percent, and you can make your way over to make whatever you know however many dollars you can uh where is actually our other river ship hey, yeah where is it hang on a second Oh, you know what? Right. <laughs> I forgot about this. We are exporting now. All right, you're on your way back. Might need another one, actually. I might need another one. Uh, okay. So that's one thing, or two things looked at, I suppose. I want to also get these guys We're working on the pumping harbor right now. I kind of want to get things progressing down over here. I was, it was pointed out in the comments as well. These things will take a fair bit of time to build. So I do wonder if I shouldn't at least start building them and then eventually, you know, when it's time to actually, when, when we actually connect to all these things, they'll already be built rather than connect to them via tracks. Like, the, our options are to wait until everything down over here is done and then turn our attention uh, to building everything up over here. But that's just going to make us go so slowly. 
So once the sun rises, Zavodsk and its construction offices will get to work down over here. I think I need to make a road connection, though, for some things, if I'm not mistaken. So I just want to make sure I do that when the sun is up, and then, um, then we'll let it all start being built. The bottleneck is going to be steel once again, I think, because, I mean, there isn't that much of it down south anymore. Got some up over here, that's good. Mechanical components up over here out the zoo, which is alright, sure. Lots of steel up over here. Good stuff. Good stuff. Hopefully we can bring more down south. I definitely need to get Oxalinsky running smoothly again. This is uh, this is a bit of a mishap. Hopefully not one that's going to uh, hurt us too badly. You're getting out of there. Yeah, I see a couple of buses are now going to arrive and not be able to pick people up. But what are we looking at here? Irons coming through. Steel is immediately being emptied out, so to speak. That'll never end, though, because the mechanical components... I, I feel like the uh, container loading facility was a mistake, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so that may have been a bit of a mistake. Because now we've created this, like, endless loop. Endless and continuous loop. Lots of workers here. Why is the iron ore backing up over here? That's weird. You are connected. You're connected up there, you're connected up there, you're connected over here, yeah. It's kind of weird. This stuff is flowing, too. The building is without power supply. Oh, okay, interesting. Not what I would have expected. Oh, it's just out of reach. Are you kidding me? Oh, are you kidding me? Um, fair enough. I wonder if I'd be better off shutting this iron mine down and focusing my efforts on just these two for now. Hmm. Or, I mean, the easier solution, of course... Ooh, turn that off. Glad I noticed. The easier solution is, of course, to simply build a substation and we can connect it rather easily. Is there anything else that needs connecting? Not really. We could build a redundancy, I suppose. I suppose we can do that for now, and then later on I'll uh, I'll find a better spot for a uh, for a substation over here. Put and pop you down over here. Seems only a little silly, only a little silly. <laughs> the topic of wasting power. Sorry, not this one, but this one. Connect you. Pay for you. Go ahead and pay for you. That ought to do the trick. Yeah, there we go. Glad I noticed that, I guess. Not exactly how I'd like to solve it, but it is what it is. Okay. Stuff's moving. I, I need to see actually how quickly steel gets loaded up by a truck when one comes through. Because that would tell me... Like, because right now, steel is just becoming mechanical components, and we are producing mechanical components at a decent rate, I would say. But this truck, the rate at which this truck fills will tell me we're very smoothly producing steel. That's what I was hoping for. So as bad as this might look or feel, we're actually producing steel at full capacity. It's just that iron and iron ore are no longer as easily, um, uh, aren't as much in a ready surplus, I suppose. But the moment this guy arrives over here, within seconds it looks like, gets loaded up. A little bit slower than it was at maximum efficiency, but it's not terrible. Okay, promising, promising. Very promising. Add a bit more over here. Take a bit more away from the mechanical components factory. Rail construction yard is still looking good. Do that. Might be a little too late for this load, but whenever the next one shows up, right? These guys are both loading up on steel, so now they're slowing each other down a little bit, I imagine, but operating without issues. Good stuff. Missing steel. Well, that's because these guys are taking it. The two trucks are there right now. All right. That's the thing. Uh, an, an output, like an export vehicle or whatever you want to call it, pri is prioritized over uh, internal um, connections, like factory connections and whatnot. Calling them internal seems wrong, but y you know what I mean. Hopefully, now that I've explained it. What is up with this hospital over here? Why is it so busy? I mean, I guess I'd rather the hospital be busy than not, but 
you know, as in, I don't want people out there dying. What's the deal with you guys? Workers without jobs. What's going on here? Unemployment's at 2,300. 509 workers without jobs. You guys are all headed to wherever you want to go. I imagine there are maybe too many passengers over here. All these people going out to work, or... A lot of people. This might actually be unsustainable. This might actually be unsustainable. Uh, we need a bigger... Oh dear. We might need... A bigger stop. Like a bus platform or something. Probably bus stops are only this big and it only allows for 200 passengers. But there's 400 waiting over here. Hold on now. Hold on now. Might need a separate bus platform for the workers. Going down in the middle over here. Oh, you know what? It fits kind of nicely. All that little moment of green highlight. Might not be a bad idea. Use the bus to get uh, workers to the train train station. In fact, I think it's almost necessary. I'm not gonna lie. So many passengers coming down here to go shopping and whatnot, right? Let's get a bus stop, a bus platform rather, dedicated to workers right in the middle over there. Look at these massive lines of people. Where are you going? I mean, at least they're going somewhere, I guess. Better that than staying home and complaining. These guys are all without jobs here. All without jobs. Get rid of that. Get this thing built. Get some uh, big buses. Right, go ahead and buy some of the bigger capacity buses, higher capacity buses. 128, 135 buses only, please. Uh, I think 135 is the most we've got. Yeah. Speed of 63 versus 70. Hmm. Go with the IKR 280. Go ahead and get four of them. This is going to need uh, a little reworking, I think. It's going to need a little reworking. Might want to swap you to carry passengers instead as well. Almost certainly. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, just backed up with passengers. All right. At least we, we know what the problem is. Uh, go ahead and fund this construction. This is a bit of an emergency situation, I would say. All these unemployed people... Desperately looking for work. You will only take on workers exclusively. Look at that. Look at all these people swarming out. Oh my god. What is the capacity of this bus stop? 230 passengers. That's not going to be enough. Well, if it's just workers, it might be enough, actually. The big bus platform is too big to fit up there. Hence the hence using the small one. To separate it from this. Alright, well, we've got we've got these checkboxes. These guys have to leave before they'll uh, you know change how they uh, change where they go and how they behave. You, we're gonna go ahead and You start over here, you load only workers, and then you drop them off over here. I think that makes sense. And from there, they're able to go wherever needed, or they stay at the, uh... Hopefully some of them stay to get picked up by the train, right? We'll see if that's how that works. Uh, okay, cool. View line details, go ahead and rename this. Now this will be the Uprising Grad... Uh, Uprising Grad Workers Shuttle. Sure. These guys... This hot mess over here. You carry passengers? Yes. You are going to be the Uprising Grad Center Passenger Line. Yes. Uh, so actually, let's rename you Uprising Grad Center Worker Line. There go. Done. Okay. 
these guys are all moving removing workers probably useless to do from over there but we can keep it active just in case I, I guess we could try it we could try it I want to make sure these guys are not able to walk to the train station correct okay cool let's go ahead and kick you off and let's go ahead and get all of you into this line actually can we that line to be able to now line spacing, I did activate it at the like before I started recording this session, so hopefully line spacing is active and that'll work properly. And hopefully we'll start seeing some of these guys uh, getting jobs, because I wanna I wanna expand this even further. Right, I wanna I wanna get more um, more housing over here, but I wanna make sure this works before I dedicate too much to it. Otherwise, we'll be in a in a huge situation. Let's put it that way. All right, back up over here, the roads. So we can go ahead and connect this finally. That was the plan, right? We got this connection over here as well. So that should connect everything that needs building. You aren't connected over here. And you are, well, you're connected over here, but you need to be connected to the main road as well. All right. So this is something we'll need to sort out. Connect you like, so I suppose. Up that terrain. Come on, there we go. Nice and flat. That should be good. And we can go ahead and pull you down this way. Well, actually, we're able to continue this up this way, I think. Flatten this a little bit. There we go. There we go. Come on now, come on now. You know you want to work with me? Excellent. More. Pop you down over here. And. Oof. Not the neatest. Certainly not the neatest. There, something like that. And then, like. And a little bit further up. And do that. Alright, so that's all connected now. You are. Connected by a road as well, I think. Are you not? Trains. Okay, so road connection. There we go. Now you can be built too. This thing needs to be connected to the main road. Go ahead and do it up this way, I think. You do it this way. Waiting until the sun rose to do this, and then the sun rose, and I got distracted by everything else. <laughs> Classic. Go ahead and get rid of some of this, actually. Worried about getting rid of this too much because of the tracks over here. You know how road and, and tracks tend to not work together sometimes. And be careful about messing that up. Alright, now we can connect you over to here, right? Should be able to. Sides are too steep. Flatten it up over here. Come on now, there we go. Flatten it. We'll be good. I think we'll be able to connect all the way. Almost. There we go. Good. So now this is connected too. Cool. Everything here is now connected. I don't know though if, yeah, the construction offices aren't auto assigned. So. Let's do it this way. Zavotsk, large construction, or huge construction office, I should say. 83% done with the uh, pumping harbor, so that's exciting. Let's go ahead and assign all of these. Of course, I had to had to save as I started clicking. Like a warning, almost. No road connection up over here. That's a problem. Oh, no road connection because this thing needs to be built first not highlighted so it's hard to see it might be the same for this as well let's see the road comes this way connect you over here yeah no road connection how's that Come on now. 
for this. There we go. There we go. No road connection to you either. Damn. Can't hook it up like this. There we go. We won't have a connection here. No, this has been done, so we should be able to. There we go. Bit of a hot mess, but we sorted it out. Right. Oh man, look at that. Stuff's already being brought over here. We're not even at double speed. Not even at double speed. Alright, that's Zavodsk's huge construction. These guys are at work already. Looks like it. Forklift garage. Yeah, Baraharad. A lot of Baraharad stuff down over here. You guys work in here as well. Go. Go. Beautiful. This is a great suggestion, by the way. It's a wonderful point that if we just waited, it would take forever for all this stuff to get done as well. It's just like, why, why wait? So much of it can be worked on while other things are being worked on. And that way, when we finally make the track connection, we don't have to worry about... Um, you know, in fact, we might even pay for the track connection because it's such a... So much of the expense is in the actual buildings, right? Like, this building alone is 1.5 million. Oh my god, this one is half a million. Another quarter million. That one's insignificant, 100k. So, we're, we're avoiding a lot of the major expenses, so maybe we can afford to build the track, right? Uh, that way we don't have to worry about a construction vehicle blocking things up. Uh, down over here, how's rail construction going? Looks like we are making progress again, which is good. Oh wow, hey, look at that, we're almost over here. Oh my god! Okay, that's super exciting. <laughs> that's super exciting. We're, we're, we're actually really close on both sides. In the rail construction offices, I, I guess we've more or less sorted out the problem over here. Yes, iron is backing up now. Good. So we've overcome the, uh, the concern, I would say. Iron is backing up over here. Steel is starting to load up a little bit. Mechanical components are being produced, but at a slow rate. But that's okay. We don't need that much mechanical components. It's just a partial uh, export. Prefab panels and stuff being brought in over here. Good stuff. Problem solved. We can check that box. Done. Beautiful. Sweet. Comfortable about the progress so far. Uh, over here, just want to do a quick checkup on our food circumstances. Still got some. Still got lots, actually. That's good. And meat. Oh, there's so much meat. There's so much meat. So much meat. Food, meat, good stuff, good stuff. Down over here. Food, meat, good stuff. All right. I'm feeling so good. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely so happy, so happy to have finally solved these issues. Look at that food backed up over here. Food backed up, ish over here. Yeah, it's half full. Uh, we got meat. Oh yeah, backed up over here. We got meat backed up over here almost. Yeah, this is good stuff. And what's the deal over here? Do we not have a? Uh, we do have a refrigeration vehicle, but you're coming from the small distribution office. You're coming from so far away. I guess that's the problem. What about this? Okay, this is that. All right, you know what, buddy? I think that's kind of silly of me to rely on a distribution office that's so far away to bring meat between these two points that are so close to each other. So let's not bother with that. Let's go ahead and buy a separate... Or we don't even need to buy one. You there. are going to start over here. You're going to load meat. You're going to come down over here. You're going to unload meat. Just keep flipping back and forth. Keep flipping back and forth. And up over here, this distribution office... I, I guess we can keep this as a part of it because food is being brought through, so fine. But hopefully meat will never have to be brought through with the distribution office and that should speed things up. Alright, fantastic. Feeling really good. Ah, <sighs> feeling very good about that. Um, now, back down over here at Uprising Grad, have we sorted out the worker problem? Wow. It didn't feel like it because that bus came and <laughs> basically loaded nobody. And what's actually happening over here? Are you not dropping workers off? You're not. You're not dropping workers off, right? Because that's not how this works. I think I need to adjust this line and drop workers off over here, and hopefully they'll go up to the train. See, we're watching this bus right now. People not get dropped off. Like, all the five people get dropped off. That is worthless. So, view line details. Um, make this the stop instead, maybe? Try that. Because I need workers to, like, get up on this train station, train uh, platform. That's what I need. 
or I could have people bus it all the way down to uh, to this or to you know wherever they want to work down over here. That's not ideal though. I want them to get onto the trains. There's a reason why we built this you know major train connection. It'd be quite the pain if it didn't work that way. Keep an eye out for that. Take a look at our population: thirty-seven point seven. Unemployment has dropped significantly. I guess that's partially because of all the construction that we're doing over here as well now, right? Yeah, people are busy. Excellent. Huge drop in unemployment, actually. How many of these guys are working on that? Okay, so this is p at least partially helping. We can't have gone from 500 to 190 and, and things like that. Like, these were 500 unemployed each in these buildings, and that number has dropped significantly. The train platform thing you'd expect has helped a little bit. Okay, let's see if we can't follow one of these workers and see what they do. Um... Polybus stop 2 is where you're getting off right now. This is your home. That's not what I want to look at. I want to look at you. You're going to get off the bus? No? No, you're not. That's a problem. That is a problem. Hmm. Hmm. How can I connect these guys to the train platform? Workers and passengers work differently. And I know I've experimented with this before, but... I don't know why I let that slip my mind. We cannot sneak through here, by the way. I, I think I saw this mentioned. I don't think so, at least, unless... Ooh. We might be able to sneak through there. Are we able to sneak through here? We are. Okay, we can try that. Ah, no. There's... I remember trying this. I remember experimenting with this. I'm not surprised. We're not able to snake through here. A little too tight. Which is silly, because you see how it would work. Oh! Come on. Don't know if this will work, but... There it is. Nah. Building gets in the way up over here. Can't connect in any way. Yeah. That doesn't fly. We can't fit over here, if I'm not mistaken. It's also too tight. Ooh. Maybe. I thought I saw it flash green. I did. We could try this. Something's better than nothing. Gets us a little bit closer. A little bit closer, let's see. Do that. If I do that. Are you guys able to walk to the station? No. I, I doubt it'll make a difference when I make it gravel. And I will, but I doubt it'll make a difference. Uh, auto build using rubles. Hook you up. Go. Go up as well. All done. Oh, what do you know? It did make a difference. Sometimes negativity is key, because then you end up pleasantly surprised. <laughs> these buildings can't get up there, but these guys can. At least that's something. Alright, well that's a bit of a bummer. I gotta figure out how to get... Um, I mean, again, I can drop the workers off at this bus stop as well, right? That's an option too. Um, we can... We can drive the workers down to here. Which is far from ideal. Drive them down to the uh, the bus stop over here. Oh man, I was really hoping to be able to rely heavily on this uh, train platform. Folks, if you know any uh, any way to make this work that I'm missing, let me know. Because this is a big one. They drop off all the workers at the trolley bus stop, but nobody wants to get off because there's no work to be had nearby. Workers are expecting to find work nearby, not another pickup point or drop-off point. So fine. So instead, what we'll work on is... Um, geez, I'm just trying to figure out where I want to bust them off to. Over to here or down to here? 
tough, tough, tough. Okay, view line details. Go ahead and, for now at least, for now at least, go ahead and send everybody down to here. I want to experiment. I want to experiment. Uprising grad, oil field, workers, bus. that, except the changes. Long trip. Not the end of the world. Might be fine, actually. But what I do want to see is from, from this bus stop, where can people get? I need to upgrade this road to get a true understanding of that. Go ahead and make it uh, with street lights and everything. Auto building it, yep. Streetlights help increase, uh, well, they have sidewalks as well, so it helps increase walking speed. A little expensive, but hopefully worth it. Come on now, almost done, there we go. Able to get up to there, you're not able to get all the way to the refinery, okay. Okay, just gotta upgrade some more roads, I think. The sidewalks, you know. The sidewalks. Allows with existing construction. Is the existing construction the road I'm trying to upgrade? Oh, come on. Oh, these already have sidewalks. Wow, despite that, you're not able to reach, eh? Yeah, despite that, they're not able to reach. Okay, that's uh, not ideal. And we can use the train station instead as the stop. Let's see, where is... A bit messy right now, but don't worry, folks. Mess now means clean later, right? View line details. I want to just experiment with this and make sure that it is going to actually distribute the workers as we need them distributed. Because from here, they can get everywhere. Where are you off to? I'm pulling back. One of the workers gave up. And you are off to where? Maybe me rebuilding the road at the wrong time sent them back? I'm not 100% sure. We'll keep an eye out. They weren't low on fuel or anything. Keep an eye out. I mean, might as well activate the oil field, the oil refinery and stuff, right? Like, why, uh, why, why not? We've got... 60, oh my god, 6,400 tons of oil just sitting here. Might as well refine it into fuel and everything and start distributing some of the fuel around the gas stations. Why are you guys coming back, though? What's going on? I mean, the workers now have given up on uh, on their work day, I suppose. We'll see, we'll see. Got this road over here as well that I should probably upgrade. I really need to turn auto build off. Go ahead and get you done over here. So expensive. Let's see if that helps at all. And what's the deal over here? Looks like oh yeah, we're 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 more than okay for iron. Iron ore now as well. Fantastic. Missing steel only because trucks are picking them up. Cool. At least that's what I imagine. Yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. Could probably get some more workers to the steel mill, but uh maybe 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 later. We don't really need it urgently, I think. And over here, construction is progressing across the board, looks like. Oh, look at that. Look at how busy this space is. It's so cool to me seeing, like, all the construction vehicles, headlights and stuff. It's one of my, um... It's probably one of my fa favorite things to, like, see in the game. It's like all these guys working away, building the glory of the nation. Really is something special. Looks <laughs> like off in the distance to the left over there. Like that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool to look at. Pretty grand. Alright. Good stuff. Good stuff. We'll have the automobile industry up and running in no time, hopefully. And I mean again, we are making some good progress on the tracks as well, right? Though now I've become a little bit more worried about how well these are gonna work. Oh man, we're almost there. Look at that. We're almost there. Well, you know, for one of the tracks. They come in pairs, let's not forget, but almost there.
the sun rises. Very close. This guy working away. He doesn't even have any tracks to lay back, lay down anymore. Here come the buses too. Really want to see that work effectively. Really want to see it work effectively. Down over here. Nobody got got off. Why did nobody get off? Can I not get workers out at a uh, train station? Are they going to back out and they're going to be like, well, I'm done with my travel time, I suppose. Maybe I do have to drop them off at the bus stop. Okay, okay, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Um, let's see, you... Pause it for a second here, view line details. Make it the bus stop. Over to you. Oh, you know what? <sighs> Alright, unload. Did I have this set wrong? Let's discard changes. Yeah, I did. Come on, party. I'm sorry for those of you that were yelling at the screen. <laughs> uh, get out 100%. There we go. That ought to do the trick. That ought to do the trick. So I was like, it doesn't make any sense for, for it to not work. Why are you rotating back? Is it because I changed the line? Oh man, was the problem over here that I wasn't dropping workers off? Oh man, hold on a second. No way. Alright, let's 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 try that out. Running all the experiments here. Running all the experiments. Doesn't help when you run them wrong. Alright. View line details. Add. That. Unload all the workers. I always think that X is the one that you need to click. You unload all the workers. Get rid of you. Done. Okay. Hopefully that's the last time I have to run this one. Hopefully. God, I can't believe I missed that. I I, I feel like that is maybe what probably what happened. I can't believe I missed that. I still haven't used the uh, line thing as often as I would like. Now, if this works, I'll rename it. I'm not going to rename it before. I don't want to jinx it. Ah, these guys are running out of gas. That's what's up. Of course, you're running out of gas. Driving around aimlessly for so long. And just the workers here that have come in from the uh, driving down, I think. Not a problem, not a problem. Just want to see this work. There we go. I guess you're the one we're going to keep our eyes on. Yep. Full gas tank. Alright. Double speed it. Doesn't have to go so slowly. Pick up some workers. You guys have still basically been unemployed. Alright. Go. Workers picked up. Now you're going to head up over here. Drop them off, right? This place is still full of passengers. Alright, here we go. My eye on these guys. Oh, uh, let's just pick up a random person. Next stop is Uprising Grab Train Platform. Yep. This has to work, right? It's working ish. It's working ish because this train platform is full. I think that's the problem. Let's see. Let's check these guys out. Let's check these guys out. Because this platform is going to empty out because this train is here right now. Right? Workers are still flowing through, but this platform is empty as this bus is arriving. Train turns to leave. Alright, let's see what happens over here. Nobody got out. Alright, that's not the answer to the question. Glad I didn't rename this. Alright. Bring people right down over here. Get out. 100% of workers. Done. That was a trip. Alright. 
Back up over here. What are we looking at? Prefab panels missing. That'll be solved soon enough. This is going well. This is all going well. Okay, excellent. How is the construction up over here going? Pretty well. Seeing it in the daytime is nice as well to actually see how much progress has been done. Pretty well. Yeah. I mean, can we call it a new endeavor? I suppose you could. Just because we put down the plans doesn't mean it was actually being uh, worked on. Now it now it is actually being worked on properly. That's a huge footprint. Ah, it's just so cool to see all the vehicles coming through and working. And you can see on the left as well, the uh, the buses coming through with workers and construction, the excavators and stuff driving away. All the little details. All the little details. Down over here, right, we're waiting on prefab panels. No, this thing is still coming through to finish the job here. Excellent. What about the other side? Good progress being made. Good progress being made. Where are these construction vehicles? Is there a hold up over here? Ish. Not a jam yet. Not a jam yet. Over here, we have a little bit of everything. So where are my construction vehicles? There's one. I have to believe the other ones. Somewhere down the line. Where you at, buddy? Where are you at? Weird. Just no workers? No, we got plenty of workers. Why are you sitting here? <laughs> Get out of here. Get to work. Please, come on. There's so much to be done. Stuff over here. Where's our riverboat? Out with the exports again, I suspect. Yeah, fair enough. In that case, what is steel looking like? We got some of it over here. At least we got this. What about over here? Plenty of steel, plenty, plenty of prefab panels. That's reason for me to start building more housing, I think. Down over here. Bus is just about to arrive. Wouldn't be surprised if this is the first. Please, this, is, this, is, this has got to work, right? Shouldn't have to specify where to go from the uh, train platform. There it is. There it is. All the progress in this area in one shot. We got the, the tracks being built. We've got the passengers arriving and spreading and going to work in various places. Um, I mean, I could at this point build all of the uh, things that need building to get this stuff up and running. Otherwise, these guys just employed in name, really. They're not really getting any work done. Fire trucks. We've got plenty of fire trucks. Good. Garage needs forklifts. Get stuff moving. Okay. This is the big one, isn't it? How many workers got up over here? 45, 50-ish from that one bus. More coming through, okay. It is a thing. It is a thing, and I could pay for all this. Got a quarter mil, about, about what? Okay, yeah, about, about about a quarter mil, approximately, a bit more. Ish, here and there, give or take. Okay, we can so we can get that done. I'm just trying to figure out what else I might want to tackle first. 37 workers without jobs. Okay, this is looking a lot better, but unable to get meat, unable to get clothes, unable to get electronics. That's probably because the passengers are clogging the space up and they're not moving quickly enough, right? Probably what's happening. So, instead of shipping workers back and forth, seemingly to no avail over here, uh, maybe you should do passengers as well. Uh, view line details? No, set line. Let's see. View line details. Set line to vehicle. Where are you? There you are. Where's the other one? three vehicles on it. How many vehicles are you actually taking? One, two, three. Okay, that should be all of them. Let's, let's try and ship passengers more often. In fact, I might even add another uh, trolley bus over here. Might not be a bad idea. One that takes on 164 passengers at a time. That sounds like a good idea to me. I like having them match. I like having matching sets. What are you? ZIU 10. Okay, good. If I'm not mistaken, that's 164 passengers. Yeah. 
by you. And... God, you can't actually see the vehicle. Oh, you can. wonder if I can't... Find... Where are you? You. View line details. That line to vehicle. Beautiful. Right. Cool. That, I suspect, will help... Uh, some of these guys get some of their needs met. Food, meat, clothes, all sorts of stuff. And it's just because we're not picking up passengers. Because uh, most of the stuff is over here. Food is a little short right now. I sincerely hope that there's some being brought over. Food and meat both. This needs to be better managed, I think. This needs to be a bit better managed. I gotta figure this out. Just to make sure these guys are never without food. Because it gets drained very quickly. The moment food arrives, it gets drained, right? Over here... Hmm, we're okay. It's all about the timing of harvest seasons, I suppose. All about the timing of harvest seasons. And how are we looking back over here? I think we're fine. Yeah, this is fine. Cool. Uh, do we start tapping into oil properly? Is there any reason to wait? I can't think of any reason to wait. The oil will come up over here, it'll be transformed into fuel and bitumen, which, yes, that is how you pronounce it. I know, I know, B-I-T. You would expect it to be bitumen. No, it is bitumen. Um, I've, I've had that comment before, I just want to clarify. I'm not just making it up. Uh, over here, you know what, this is something I do want to sort out, though, is the wood down over here. How do we get workers down to the woodcutting post? That's a big part of it as well, because uh, the parking lots and stuff wouldn't work. From here, no one's able to reach it reach the wood cutting post unless 158 meters I can fly that's 300 meters it's 162 there's 300 meters up there yeah I don't think don't think this is gonna fly I need the Sun up so I can actually see what I'm doing a little bit Eh, not necessarily. Right, auto build. Hooked up over here. All right, that allows them to come down this way at the very least. Problem arises over here. Like, I don't think this is good enough, so to speak, right? I think we were already messing with this last time. Uh, not that the, tr not that the uh, train works with me here. Just equal the descent. Yeah, not surprised. Cancel some of you. Drop some of you. I just I want to see if we can get this to work. I vaguely remember it not working last session, but only vaguely, so I apologize if this seems like repetition. Um, there we go. Okay. Go ahead and pay for the upgrade here. Turn off auto build. Nah. Didn't be surprised. Better known. Waste of money. Yeah, the train the train station is just not close enough. Not the end of the world. Don't think we can cut any corners or, or make any diagonals or anything like that. So we get like a microbus or something, I guess, bringing 30 people at a time. It's not, not a problem. Sure, 30 people at a time, we'd need like three or four of them. Right, you can't just do one bus bringing 30 workers down over here. I'm not going to put residential down in the area. That would be, like, can you imagine living in this space? With all, of, all all the work that needs to be done over here. Uh, so let's go ahead and get some micro buses. Sure. Go ahead and buy bus. I'm going to send 30 people down at a time. He's at 3205. Pretty fast. Yeah, that sounds good to me. 35. A little bit of waste. I say... 3 might be good enough. Three might be good enough, and let's go ahead and get them going from here down to the woodcutting post. Not exactly what I had in mind, not gonna lie. But, um, does the trick, it does the trick, right? Does the trick, it does the trick. Uprising grad, woodcutting, bus line. Sure. About that for now. What a ride. What a long, long trip. Uh, accept changes. Yep. 
And let's go ahead and set the line to you guys as well. Hopefully that's a consistent or a constant supply of workers down to the woodcutting post. Alright, so wood cutting post. Cutting wood in the area. Suppose I could always put down some more trees. Seed pine. Go to here. Drop all you guys down. Good stuff. Get wood in, right? Oil is coming through here. Good. Gravel. We need to drive down. So let's go ahead and get that going as well. Wood, oil, chemicals. Right. So the chemicals are being produced over here. No, that's plastics. Where are the chemicals being produced? Oh, you are the chemical plant. That's the export. Whoops. Okay, so wood, gravel, we have to drive down. Crops, we have to drive down as well. Oil is over here. Okay. Man, this is going to be... This is going to be uh, a lot of work. Why are you still here? Is this not complete yet? Oh, it's almost complete. Almost complete. <laughs> Alright, everything seems to be almost complete, which is not a bad place to be, I'll be completely honest. All we have to do over here is sort out some of the delivery of raw materials, uh, and then we will pay for these constructions. Again, it's just about a quarter of a million. We have that kind of money, so it's not a problem. Get fuel produced from the oil. Get uh, chemicals produced from the oil as well. Get plastics produced from the chemical and the oils. So much to do over here. It's such a such an important um, part of our nation over here. We need to make sure it works smoothly. And buses aren't going to cut it. So I really hope... I really hope we're able to sort something out in terms of these trains. Um, the other thing I have to concern myself with is that right now, two trains supplying workers over here has been working well. What happens when we add a third train? What happens then? Do I need to add another track over here separate to all of this? Um that bypasses everything like that that's got me a little worried i'm not gonna lie because of how tight this movement is maybe a train when a train comes through here drops 50 percent off and then goes all the way down here drops the rest 50 percent off maybe when we do that we can actually have four trains on this uh on this line but i get the feeling that we're gonna have to build a um like a waiting area over here or something like a lot of the times what a train will do is it'll come over, it'll stop on a track at the side, wait for a train to clear the space, and then and then the train will continue on. I'm really going to have to figure out the uh, the mechanics of that, though, if I'm going to build something so complex over here. Uh, because that is something that is starting to concern me. We, we cannot have just buses of 100 people arriving here one at a time, delivering, you know, 50 workers at the oil refinery where we need 500. So that's going to be the next, um, I think next session we're going to get oil up and running. And, uh, and I think the session after that, actually, you know what? I think next session, we're going to get oil up and running and we're going to have these tracks completed as well. And so we'll not just have oil up and running in this kind of like, uh, interim method, but sort of a full flow, if you will, a, a, a full flow as these tracks get completed, we'll have all these trains and stuff going as well. I'm really excited for next session, but this is where we're going to call it for this session, folks. I hope you enjoyed this one. I feel like we did accomplish a fair bit. I mean, I'm really glad to see Oxalinsky back up and running again smoothly. And it's just nice to even see this stuff kind of functioning down over here and experimenting with that. Uh, unemployment is hopefully... Eh, yeah, it's low, but that's because we got construction going on and people doing pretend jobs down over here. But folks, like I said a while ago, uh, so close. We're so close. Almost there. If you enjoyed this session, y'all know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, how I go about doing it. Y'all know the drill. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Das Vidanya.